version of this spreadsheet. It's faster, it's cleaner, it's more responsive. And so you can get to it a couple different ways. But you go there, pull it up, you'll see the version numbers on the top here. They're very diligent about tracking all the stuff. You can see there's a whole bunch of people looking at this already. And uh, there's also a help forum and a supply, uh, like support kind of group. So you can talk to people about it, ask questions. How do I do this? Why am I seeing this? Uh, what did I mess up? You know, that kind of thing. And it gives you all the instructions here. So for instance, if I wanted to take my very old spreadsheet here, which is I think two dot something or another, right? I can look at this and I can say, um, let's see. So I can see my entire roster here and they've kept the same structure. So if I go to this new one here, what the first thing I have to do is I need to file and make a new, uh, spread or I'm sorry, make a copy of this one and copy it to my drive. Right. So I'll do this, uh, test copy. Right. So I'm just doing this for the video purpose. Click OK, put it in my drive. I actually have a games folder. Um, so my my drive, and I put it in games. And then select there, and click OK. And that way it's sorted a little bit. I don't really sort my drive that much. But this is my new version. This is the original, so I don't really need to look at this one anymore unless I want it for reference, but I can always come back later. So now I'm working on this one, right? So if I am going from the old spreadsheet, I can't use the migrate function. That is specifically for people already on this version. So if you're not on the current version, what you need to do is go to, uh, let's see, view, and then there's hidden sheets here. See all this? So they're working on other sheets too that they haven't implemented yet. Um, there's one that they're doing right now for Stark Tech upgrades and all this stuff. And they're always working on new stuff. So if you have ideas or suggestions, you can go to that Discord channel, find the suggestions uh, channel and go ahead and send that. But one of the things they're doing is uh, they have this import feature. And this is really nice because it's basically a blank sheet, so it's hidden, but um, most people won't be using this because you really only need it to come in from the old version once. And see how it's got role named here and all the stuff matches up. And if you go back to the instructions, you can see here it says uh, migration from a previous version. Uh, just go to the migrate tab, uh, import an MSF personal roster, uh, use the hidden sheet and copy and paste and import into the import tab. So the idea is you only want to use the import sheet. So what you do is you go up here to the top left, do not grab the header columns. You just need these and then go all the way down to the bottom and however far you want to copy over. So for me, that would be to the power, total power right here. Control C, you'll see a little dotted line around it and Excel, it always means that you have that current stuff copied and then go to your import sheet and then go and paste it in at the top left corner. See how all this stuff matches up? There's stars, there's red stars, and you gotta give it a minute because it says Google Drive, so it's working you know, on cloud-based systems, so it takes a little bit for it to update and run all the formulas. There are a ton of formulas in the spreadsheet, so it takes a long time to get it started up, but once you do, it's actually pretty quick and it's a lot more responsive than the old version. So, if for some reason these things are not passing through, uh, let's see here. So, is it working? Hmm. Let's go to leave and come back. Did it not copy all the information? Hmm. I wonder if I did this wrong. All right, let's go check the instructions again. Do -do 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 -do. Huh. Well, what did I do wrong? Yikes. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, I know this stuff isn't supposed to pop up here, but uh, gear, redstone. I should have copied all this stuff over. Hmm. I wonder if I can copy and then let's try this. Let's do. Uh, paste special. Let's paste values only. That's what it is. Okay. Sorry. That was a mistake. That's what you want to do. You want to right click and you want to paste special and do values only, which is control shift 
V instead of control V for paste. Uh, when you do that, it just brings over the numbers and none of the formula stuff behind it. Uh, a couple of these may be blank because there are zeros and in the old spreadsheet you didn't put zeros for anything. And that's fine. It should import properly. But once you got this all in the import sheet, what it's doing is it's actually transporting it over to the roster and then the roster is rebuilding based on the names. So if you had anybody like, for instance, my old sheet, I never updated it to have the new characters so it doesn't have Falcon in it. So he's a zero. So I'd have to go into my uh, roster here, go find Falcon and uh you know get his stats and put him in there i think he's around 10k yeah there he is so i got four reds on him so i have four star four reds level 40 right and i think he's like yeah 4442 so 4442 all right gear six and power of 10.0403 sure whatever um and that's pretty much how you do it. Like you would just fill that in for these in individuals. Now, when you have a name uh, issue, so it's looking for the exact name instead of like a, a string or anything. So it's saying if Korath the Pursuer. So what you'd want to do is copy this name and go back into your import sheet and find Korath. Uh, let me see if I can find him. Should be in the 30k range. Uh, Korath. Where's Korath? There he is. So if I change his name to Korath the Pursuer, and then go back to the roster sheet, it'll actually pick that up and it'll bring in that information. So it needs to be an exact match. So there's a couple of these that are wrong. So like, okay, I didn't have Psylocke in the old sheet. Uh, Mordo, I think is Baron Mordo in this sheet. Uh, yeah, he is. So I would just take out the Baron, do that, go back to roster and boom, it's all imported for you. So that's not, oh, and Ronan the Accuser instead of just Ronan. Uh, I don't have Colossus in that sheet. And then Doctor Strange, I think, I'm thinking of this one, he's like DR Strange or something like that. But uh, yeah, there he is. Uh, so, Doctor, right? Type his name in, copy paste it, whatever. And it picks it right up. So that's a really easy way to import from the old version. And I guarantee you, this new version is going to be a lot slicker, a lot faster, and a lot more responsive. And it's currently being updated. And they've done some really, really great stuff with it, too. So, uh, for instance, um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, they do have, like, a character, like, import feature or something like that. Or migrate. That's what it is. So if you want to, you can... Uh, you know, migrate your sheet to the next version and everything. And uh, you just put in the ID and all this, and it's really simple. So they've done a lot of great work with this stuff. Now that you're done with the import tab, you can just go ahead and hide it. And then what you want to do the next time, if you're going to do a manual import, if you do, you want to copy and paste just the values out of here instead of doing uh, like what I did where you're copy and pasting with the formulas in the background. So you don't want these V lookups everywhere because that does bog down your, your sheet. Um, so you do want to just copy the data if you can and avoid all those other references. Uh, but that's how you do it to migrate from the old one. Uh, if you want to migrate from say, uh, let's do, let's do my current one here. Let's go and migrate. So here's the instructions. You can migrate all the data from the previous version of this tool, including Blitz, Roth, da, 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 da. Unfortunately, you'll have to allow the script to access your data. If you're worried about the safety of your data, you can always use the import tab. So what they're saying there is you can copy your roster just like I did into that import tab and bring everything in. However, it's not going to bring over your war stuff, your blitz stuff, your event stuff, your red star stuff. And I haven't even gotten into this, but they're trying to figure out what the chance of duplicates are for each each orb for you and uh, spell all that out. There's a, there's just so much stuff. They're, they're just working on a lot of different things. It's pretty cool. Um, so... For right now, just getting the roster set up so you can, you know, actually sort things. Um, oh, Colossus. I have three reds on him now. <laughs> and everything else is zeros. <laughs> I got two on her. Um, but I don't have her yet. So, if we wanted to do that, you can actually just, you know, go and copy and then paste values and uh, go to the new sheet over here. So that would be um, the import tab again. So you'd want to go to view, you'd want to unhide the import tab, and then you'd want to delete all this stuff if you have something in it. And right click and paste values only. Uh, 
Oh, okay. These actually come in as... Hmm. Maybe we don't want to paste the values only when coming from the same sheet. Let's just try pasting and see what happens. Nope. That didn't work. <laughs> Man. All right. Let's see. Instructions. Let's go back and read the manual. It's always the right thing to do when you're when we're doing stuff like this. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. Um, make a copy. We prompted it. Uh, your roster tab. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's try this. Let's delete all this import stuff so it's gone. So my roster is, is gone except for Falcon, the one guy I entered manually. Mm -hmm. All right, so if we do migrate, um, the sheet ID, I guess, is this thing up here, right? I think that's what we need. Oh, sorry. You want to cut off the edit grid thing at the bottom there. And do that, and then migrate. And then continue. And sure, I use my account. App isn't verified. Advanced. Uh, it's okay. Allow. And then it's running a script. So what it's doing is it's actually pulling the information from this old uh, sheet here and bringing it forward. Now, the only problem with this to me is like if you have a hard-coded link for these uh, for sharing you're gonna have to find a new one or find what whatever the new sheet ID is and share that instead so unfortunately you do lose the sheet uh, URL in this process but you know it's an easy way of migrating so that's 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 fine uh, let's see what's happening here so it is bringing in this stuff that's cool all right so uh, Pulled in all my information. Let's see about some of these other ones. So Stark Tech. I don't know that I had anything in Stark Tech. Um, oh yeah, and they got all the little profiles and stuff and the people's names. And uh, let's see if it brought in. I don't think I filled in the raid one. I think I filled in the um, Blitz ones though. So I did pull in my Blitz teams. Uh, so maybe I'll go ahead and do that for war. There's a couple of teams I always leave on defense. Like my Ultron team, who got like four or five wins this last run. Uh, so I was pretty happy about that. Uh, oh, it's still running, so maybe it's bringing in this information right now. Um, but that's pretty much it for how you pull this stuff in. I don't know if you guys have any questions. Um, yeah, and, and yeah, so on a phone, these probably aren't the best uh, sheets to be using because they're just so large. Uh, I work with spreadsheets almost every day at work, so I, I'm using these and analytics tools and stuff, so I work in IT, so this is kind of my thing. <laughs> so I'm very used to this stuff and playing around with it, and so it, it, it's just, you know, it works for me, right? Uh, let's see. Oh, and they do have Phoenix in here, so, um, oh, and this is really cool. I forgot to mention, I mean, I love this sheet. So cool. All right, so my hand assassin is actually at, don't change it here. You need to go back to roster. Uh, and I'm done with the import and migrate tab, so I'm gonna hide those just so I don't have to look at them. And I really don't care about this inventory tab, so I'm just gonna hide it. But basically this is if you wanna track your, individually track all your items and stuff. Uh, and then ability focus is just recommended upgrades and stuff. Uh, you've seen all these infographics and stuff, I'm sure elsewhere. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to hide this too because I don't, I don't really care about that. And I'm not messing with Stark Tech. This tab, I don't, I don't know what to do with it yet. So I'm still trying to figure that out. And for raids, I don't really track my raid team, so I'm not going to do that here. But if I go back into my roster here, let's, let's do that and find uh, Hand Assassin. Where is she? Controller. All right. So now she's five stars, and she's level 50. And five, five, three, uh, and it's like let's say 12k, close enough. Um, and she needs 195 shards for six stars, right? So that's a yellow. Um, but we go to events, and now it'll update here. And, and unfortunately, it shows green because it still thinks that five stars the unlock. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> but showing me, I need 
Uh, oh, because it thinks, yeah. Let's say target tier is six. That's what it is. Okay, sorry. You can change it here. Um, and we know it's on June 27th, so we have 22 days left. And I have five stars. I need 195 shards. Uh, I need, let's see, five shards. Oh, wait. What? Oh, whoops. I did that backwards. I'm sorry. I need 195. I don't have 195. I, you, yeah, I did that wrong. Sorry. You put in the number that you currently have towards the next number, text, towards the next star. So yeah, I need 8.86 a day and I got two today. So that hurts. Uh, I'm going to need to get her in some orb drops or get really lucky with the drops to get 195 shards in three weeks. Now, the other thing to remember is her event starts on the 27th, and in the past, all of these legendary events have run for a week. So I probably have until beginning of July, probably around July 4th, um, to finish her. So technically, I'll have a few extra days grace period to get her up, and also just kind of see what the lay of the field is as far as the difficulty of that six-star unlock, because we still don't know what that's going to be like. But they've hinted that it's going to be very hard. Um, so we'll see. But uh, that's also a very nice little calculator there to tell you exactly how many you need. Uh, like, for instance, I need 100 Carnage Shards, and Shuri, let's just say she's, you know, although this is the Fury event time, so she'll probably be August or something like that. Um, so I only need a few a day, but if you're only getting, say, 5 or 10 a week from, you know, Alliance War Shop, uh, that might take you a while. So, you never know. Uh, but I do need to update my roster a little bit. Um, I haven't quite done that yet, but uh, yeah, so Cyclops, I got three there. Phoenix, I don't have any. Um, and then I got I got to just look through it real quick. Um, but uh, yeah, you can sort by power, which is how I like to track mine. Uh, oops, I want to do Z to A. There we go. And keep the big guys at the top, and then, you know, ignore all the shit minions down here at the bottom. So, very cool spreadsheet, very interesting. I really appreciate uh, Groot and the other guys and all their work on this. I think it's really cool. It's a very fun tool to play around with and track stuff. Uh, I'm going to import a couple of my sheets to it. So, like, for instance, um, oops, I, well, I guess I could just do that, but... Um, Basically, I'll, I'll go back to my old one here, find, uh, let's see, what is it? So like my tier 13 uniques tracker, I'll, you know, copy that to uh, existing spreadsheet and then go find games, right? And then do test copy roster. And so that brings it in. And then I can do that for my priorities and economics tabs. And then I have all my information in there and I don't need to uh, keep this old one anymore. Um, so I'll probably do that as well. And of course it doesn't remember your selection, but you can get right back to it. And do, 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 just cause I've been working on these things for a while and I don't want to lose them. And then I'll go back in here and go find these, uh, yeah, copies. So, um, rename and remove that copy of, right? and rename or remove copy of and then i gotta update my priorities tab but i might actually make some adjustments to it based on the whole uh, shard count thing from the front page because that does help since it's used elsewhere in the tool and so if i can kind of merge in with what they're using as far as like the uh, tool goes I might be able to save myself some trouble there and then i can just manage it from here which will make it a lot easier so all right, guys, I think that covers it for roster stuff. I don't know if you guys have any other questions. Doesn't sound like it, so uh, we'll cut it off here. Uh, but if you do, just leave comments or whatever, and I'll see if I can help them. And I'll link to that uh, Discord for the guys who are developing the spreadsheet and maintaining it, and uh, let you guys look through it and make yourself your own uh, version of it. So, all righty.